Savini program gives, in my opinion, the best baseline knowledge. And the fact that it's a 16 month course allows you to you know, cover so much more of that material. Being able to step into the school and have these instructors who've worked on big budget films and everything from a successful haunted attraction to independent film to the larger television network series care and, and help you along your journey. You use a lot of stuff you learn here, which I, that's why I love the program, because they teach you the basics of sculpting and mold making and casting and everything, and it all plays a part. And it was amazing to be able to do some of these bigger projects that I wouldn't have been able to do at home. You know, the facility's amazing. You could do fiberglass work, you could get into anything and learn about it, whereas you might not have had the space or materials to do that prior. There was no real cutoff to creativity here. You could just keep expanding and expanding and working with people and getting ideas here and making, creating, and there, there wasn't a limit. And I think that's one of the best parts about the school is that they only encourage you to push the limit. Ultimately, it was the other students and instructors that inspired me the most, um, feeding off their energy, learning their styles and uh, different techniques. It inspired me to do better and grow. You know, we talk about networking and team building, but there are opportunities for collaboration outside the film program. We are partnered with the Tom Savini Special Makeup Effects Program, which has created through the years so many opportunities. You know, if one of our kids really wants to do a big monster movie, we can do a big monster movie. Everybody here is excited and supportive of that. What makes this school unique? This is a film studio. This is like the old days of MGM or Paramount. They're making movies here. They need makeup artists. This is why it's like a film studio. Here is a film program, and there's an assembly line of makeup artists in the makeup effects program. What I like to see sometimes is when a film student's like, you know, I have this idea, and they've kind of become friends with a Savini student who says, well, I'd like to build that, and then it just happens and the support levels are phenomenal. That goes across the board for all of Douglas. The amount of time that you're gonna spend in ZBrush as opposed to working in clay, like there's really no comparison. Uh, you have something in a matter of days that would take weeks to get one single design out. It's a tool that if you can learn it and absorb it, it's very powerful and it allows you to work more quickly and more efficiently, I think. It does take time to get the technical aspect of it, but once you've, once you've got the basic tools, you can create just about anything you can imagine. So this class has been designed to simulate what would happen in a real shop. I feel like Page the Screen is an idea that is first put down on page, written, concepted, and then brought to reality on the screen. First, the students come up with their idea, and once it's approved, they go straight into sculpting on full scale of what they want. They get an overall 15 weeks. It taught me how to work as a team. So it was like a simulated shop environment. It kind of broke me out of that, this isn't about you attitude, and it's about working as a team. Yeah, the whole reason we began the Page to Screen program is it gets the students together working for the head of the special makeup effects department. And it teaches you how to become the head of the department their response to it being finished. That, to me, is everything. I, I believe that sometimes they don't even believe they can do it themselves. So when they see their finished product, for me, it's what makes me want to keep doing this. A person going into special effects school might think, the only job I can get after I graduate is working on a film set. It's just endless of all the stuff you could do outside of the school, even if you don't want to be in like the makeup movies or anything. You could do so much other stuff, like a scenic artist. You can do stuff for museums and everything. And you, you could find a job anywhere, honestly, with these skills. Some people, they just want to focus on one skill, and that's okay. Some people just want to be sculptors, and some people just want to do beauty makeup. Like, if you want to be the teeth guy, be the best freaking teeth guy. To a younger person who's interested in the field and may think that they don't have what it takes, that's not true. You're here to learn, and nobody starts with all the information. I learn new things every day. Things you'll create, you don't even know. The faces you haven't met yet, the art you haven't created, it's all out there for you. If you're thinking about going, think it over. Um, a lot of your success going to the school is going to be how much energy you put into it. I think as an artist, you know, the greatest thing is when you see your vision come to life. Just, you know, it becomes like your child, like you made it. And I think that's a very rewarding thing for people with the creative mindset. And there are so many mistakes that I'm very grateful for because they just made me a better artist. You know, if you don't learn, you're never really gonna grow. If I could do it, you can do it. You are capable of more than you think.